Hi, loot bags. Today, we're talking about how you can get Ascended gear in World vs. World. Before we start, I do want to make it clear that Ascended gear is in no way required to play World vs. World. If you're just starting out, simply go for exotic gear and you'll be perfectly fine. Once you have all your exotic gear, it is usually a normal thing to start working on replacing each piece with Ascended or even Legendary gear. It should also be noted that by solely trying to get your Ascended through World vs. World, then you'll be in for quite some time gating. This is due to the fact that you won't be crafting, but rather purchase the gear with time gated currencies. As always, check the timeline on the YouTube video if you want to skip ahead to a specific type of gear. In order to get Ascended gear in World vs. World, you'll need a few different currencies. Skirmish Claim Tickets is the major currency you'll find attached to Ascended gear in World vs. World. You'll get Skirmish Claim Tickets by getting pips, and pips are awarded to you every 5 minutes as long as you keep your participation higher than tier 3. You can get a maximum of 365 Skirmish Claim Tickets each week. If you want to learn more about participation, check out my World vs. World Basics guide on the topic. Badges of Honor is a generic currency in World vs. World. If you just keep playing, you'll slowly accumulate plenty of these, and at one point you're going to wonder what in the world you're going to spend them all on. Laurels is not specifically a currency in World vs. World, but it is one of the very time-gated currencies in the game, and the only way to get it is to log in every day. You can earn up to 55 laurels per month. Memories of Battle is a material used in crafting, but it is also used heavily as a currency. Memories of Battle are earned in the same way you earn Skirmish Claim Tickets, by having a participation of at least Tier 3. If you're impatient and got some spare gold laying around, it's also possible to buy these on the trading post. Grandmaster Marks is used in multiple game modes for when you buy Ascended gear. You can either choose to craft each mark, which will require specific crafting professions at level 500, or you can get them passively in World vs. World through your pips like Memories of Battle and Skirmish Claim Tickets. Do note that you get these at a very slow rate from the pips, and it'll therefore take you multiple weeks to be able to get even a single piece of Ascended. Now that you understand the special currencies that you're going to be spending to get Ascended gear in World vs. World, let's actually look at the different types of gear and how to use them. World vs. World has two ways to give you trinkets. The old school way, which will give you fixed stat combinations, and the new cool way, which will give you selectable stat combinations. The latter obviously being the more convenient. The old way is rather simple. As you log in on your account every day, you're going to start accumulating a currency called laurels. You can find these in your wallet. In order to find where to purchase these fixed stat trinkets, simply go to the spawn of any of the World vs. World maps and locate the laurel vendor. This vendor will sell you rings, accessories and amulets, full laurels and some badges of honor. The downside of this way of purchasing the trinkets is that it is quite expensive. Over the course of logging in every day for a month, you can get a maximum of 55 laurels. And if you want a single accessory, that will set you back 40 laurels. The other newer way of getting trinkets in World vs. World is also time gated. It requires you to get the currency, skirmish claim tickets, and 250 memories of battle. With the prices of the stat selectable trinkets, you would be able to get all your trinkets in just one month of playtime, assuming you get at least 197 skirmish claim tickets each week. This might seem like a great deal compared to the old trinket method, but do be aware that if you want to get ascended armor, weapons, and a back piece from World vs. World, then you have to spend your skirmish claim tickets on those as well. In order to purchase these stat selectable trinkets, simply go to your nearest skirmish supervisor at the spawn of any World vs. World map. One thing I should definitely remember to add is that using the new way will also allow you to reset the stat combination on your trinkets later on by purchasing a one-time use mist capacitor, which can also be found at the skirmish supervisor. As you might have noticed, I have bundled the armor and weapons together. This is because their acquisition is pretty much the same for both of them. Both ascended armor and weapons are bought with skirmish claim tickets, grandmaster marks, and memories of battle. The difference between armor and weapons is that in order to buy the armor, you have to ensure you get the tier 1 version first, before you can buy the tier 2 version that comes in both exotic and ascended rarity. 
Here is an example. Say I want to buy the heavy ascended chest piece in World vs. Wild. First, I'll have to complete the triumphant reward track, which will allow me to choose an exotic armor piece by the end of it. The armor piece I have to choose is the heavy chest piece. This will unlock the tier 1 skin, which will allow me to buy the tier 2 version. The tier 2 version is the one that comes in both exotic and ascended, so make sure you buy the right one. The example above also applies to the obsidian weapon set, but all of those weapon skins looks like toys, so I would personally just recommend choosing the Mistforged or the Mist Lords weapons. Regarding the armor, then there's also a more expensive version, the tier 3 version, that does not require Grandmaster marks, but instead it requires more skirmish claim tickets. Just like the tier 2 version, then you have to unlock the previous tier skin before you can buy the tier you actually want. So this is an overall bad strategy if you're just simply looking to gear your character. Another important mention is that if you get the tier 2 or tier 3 ascended armor, those can act as a precursor for the legendary armor in World vs. Wild. Using it as a precursor will only work the first time you choose the stats on the individual armor piece. If you were to throw it in the Mystic Forge to change the stats later on, that would void the precursor status. Simply head to the Skirmish Supervisor at the spawn of any World vs. Wild map and look at the possibilities for armor and weapons. The Ascended Back Piece in World vs. Wild is actually the precursor to craft the legendary back piece Warbringer. This also means that there are some limitations on when you can actually make this. To craft this ascended back piece, you have to go to the legendary commander War Razor that you find in any spawn in World vs. Wild. From there, you purchase each tier of the back piece recruits, soldiers, generals, and commanders wings of war. And this is where it limits you. In order to buy the commander's wings of war, you are required to buy a commander tag if your account have not unlocked that already. You also have to be at least rank 350 in World vs. Wild. In total, Warcry will cost you 2,450 skirmish claim tickets. And if you don't have the commander tag already, that'll set you back an additional 300 gold and 250 badges of honor. Ascended gear in World vs. Wild is definitely not the best way to spend your time, at least not compared to all the alternatives in the game. But it is a way for anyone who only plays World vs. Wild to actually get the optimal gear, and that is pretty great. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you will click that subscribe button for more content like this. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up, and if you didn't like it, click the thumbs down. Make sure to also head over to Twitch TV slash Reddish, where I stream every Monday, Thursday, and Friday.